Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm already tearing up, oh my god. <laughs> I just wanted to wish everyone a happy, happy new year and literally give a big middle finger to 2017. I want to tell you guys a little story on how I started my 2017. Um, I did not think this would be hard, what the heck? So I started my 2017 by leaving my family in New Jersey and flying back to LA to be with my boyfriend at the time and spend New Year's Eve with, you know, him and his parents and I just thought it would, I just thought it was going to mean a lot to me and a lot to, you know, the other person in the relationship. What ended up happening is I flew back in, very, very, very blessed to have my friends who were able to come pick me up because I would have been left at that airport. I ended up being alone on New Year's Eve, even though my whatever at the time knew for ages when I was gonna get back and the whole entire plan and yeah so I was left alone I walked in to cleaning up a bunch of dog piss and ended up cleaning a whole entire apartment after that I got ready and I had hours and hours and at midnight I ended up, I ended up kissing a little pup a dog yeah, so that was the beginning to my 2017. It probably doesn't seem like that big of a deal, but I think when you have a significant other or you're involved with someone for over, you know, two, two and a half years, it's like, it's kind of like shitty, you know? And how I felt then was how it was and how I felt Sorry. <laughs> it sucks. That's how it was for a huge portion of 2017 and how it was previous <laughs> or felt like towards the end or however long of my 2016. I don't think that throughout that time, <laughs> I'm so sorry, <laughs> oh my god, <sighs> I don't think that throughout that time that I've ever felt more alone <clears throat> while being with someone <laughs> or being someplace <laughs> ever. <laughs> You know, there's a borderline between my personal life, which I hold really close, and what I put online and what's public for anyone who wants to be involved or invested can see. The thing is that I've never shared or ever said anything about anything ever, besides the occasional depressing tweets because you can only imagine what was or has been and what went through my mind. But it was really, really hard for me. And once I shared anything like that, that was a part of those things that were so personal to me, it's public and it's out there. And now it's something that you guys know about someone that you follow. I'm sure it's a thing that everyone knows and is already aware of about, you know, your personal life and social media and stuff like that. So I don't mean to put any life lessons on you, but I just want to explain why 
I've stayed so quiet, and I am so quiet, aside from the good and the happy. The good and the happy, that's me, and that's who I am, and where I want to be, and always being positive and sharing that with you guys, because that's what I'm here for, and that's what you guys are here for. Since my last video where I was interviewed by my boyfriend's mom, she asked me about my ex, which is totally fine and cool, normal. I think what happened at that point was it went from smaller comments to people private messaging me more questions and I'm not really sure how I'm supposed to handle that. Things were not okay, and things did not end well. And if it comes to a point where I further need to say something publicly, or I want to, then I will. But everyone, please, please understand that that is a part of my life that I want to leave behind. I hope I didn't, I hope that, mm, I'm extremely happy at this point in my life to say that I started off 2018 a lot better than I did 2017. And I want to stay strong and continue to have more days that are like how I brought in 2018. And I've said this before, but I wanna share my life and things that I choose to share with you guys. So everyone, happy new year. Please do not be upset by anything that I said. And if you are, Get the fuck over it. <sighs> Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up for a great, happy, healthy, both emotionally, mentally, physically, whatever, new year. And if you're gonna comment, please just make sure that they're relevant to who I am now. And I will try to give all of your comments thumbs up. Thank you guys for being a part of my crazy weird life. And if you haven't already, subscribe to be a part of the journey. Don't forget to turn on my post notifications and I will see you guys with a brand new video tomorrow. Bye. It's done.